All right, my battery's about to die. Let's make this quick, but good at the same time because let's not compromise quality in a rush. Yeah. <laughs> Hello humans! Next week is the official beginning of my study year. I start orientation on Monday and then I just have classes as usual after that. And I'm so excited, I'm doing a diploma graphic design and I'm keen. But one of my biggest struggles during school time is the fact that I don't get to wear a uniform anymore and I have to like pick out outfits every single day. And sometimes that can really stress me out. I often feel quite messy and all over the place emotionally. So for me, there's a real power and confidence in feeling like I look put together. Knowing that my outfit is good, knowing that I look good gives me a lot of confidence and kind of just helps bring balance. But in saying that, when my outfit isn't perfect or when I feel like I look weird, that can make me feel incredibly insecure and incredibly uncomfortable. But it's a new year, it's a new me, it's a new approach to maintaining good mental health. And so the DIY that I'm showing you guys today is a book that I made that actually has a whole bunch of outfits already in it so that in the morning if I'm feeling tired, if I'm feeling gross, if I'm feeling like I need that bit of extra push of a great outfit, I can just go to the book grab one and go. So what I'm calling this DIY is my Don't Stress Get Dressed book and I've got it in this big A3 visual art diary. There are three different types of pages in this book and they all kind of serve different purposes. And the first of the pages are actually just category pages. So they're pages that have, let's say, dresses or shorts or skirts or pants or shirts or whatever. So they look like this. This is my casual dresses page and I'm really bad at drawing but um, I know what all these dresses are because I own all of them. So, you know, that looks like an absolute piece of poo. But I know exactly what dress that is because I have seen it. The way I did this page was I took a photo of every dress in my wardrobe and I just sat down with the Vampire Diaries playing and I just sketched from the picture the outline of the dress. Once I sketched the outline of the dress, I then went over and did any patterns. So these got straps, so I drew the straps, or I drew this kind of checker pattern in. And then once I drew the basic pattern, I went in with watercolor paints and I just filled everything in. Then once the watercolor paints had dried, I went back over with a black fine liner. And then once I'd done that, I erased any pencil marks that you could still see. Just so you can understand, this is a page that I haven't finished yet. And so I've drawn the outline and now I just need to go over and fill them with watercolor and then outline them and all that kind of stuff. That's at the interim stage of what the page could look like. The next type of page that I have in this book are what I am calling my mix and match pages and the idea is you can take one from any column and they will make a good outfit. So this is my mix and match casual page and as you can see I have three columns. I have shirts, pants and shoes and the idea is that I can take any one of these and put them with any one of these and any one of these and then have an outfit. And this page is for days when I feel slightly less creative but I still want to have options in my outfit choosing and this one was pretty simple to drop as well I centered the table in the middle of the page and then I just gave three even columns and then of course I just penciled in, watercolored in, outlined in all the clothing items and then just erased the pencil marks and then I just used fine liner on the actual table as well and then I used a fine liner to draw up my little title which I really like and my last type of page that I did is a page that I'm going to call grab and go and it's a page that reminds me of those fridges at like a 7-eleven that has all those pre-packaged sandwiches and everything in it that's basically what this page is it's a page that just has outfits ready to go and this page is really the best page in this book for me personally because it's the one that is going to help me keep a handle on you know looking together while I'm feeling totally just messy as all heck. So this is what the page looks like when it's all done and I am so proud of it. It's all evenly spaced, everything looks like it has a plate and that's my favourite part about it. It's calming to look at which is also very helpful. So yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video. This DIY is very time consuming so only do it if you know you're going to use it, if you know that it's going to be helpful to you. I've already used my book and it's not even finished yet so I know it's going to be an asset to me. So yeah I hope you enjoyed this DIY. I enjoyed making it. It's been really therapeutic to just sit down at night and just do some watercolor and hopefully this will help me out to not stress as much in the mornings which is always a good thing and yeah that's all I have to say for this video make sure you follow me on all my social media I will be posting a lot in the coming week as I start new design school and as I adventure and all that kind of stuff so it'll all be there and it's all in the description I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day if you're not I hope it gets so much better I love you all and goodbye all those TV shows when the girl's trying to find something to wear and she's pulling things out of her closet and they're flying everywhere that's real that's a real struggle for me. And if you've ever been at my house while I've been getting ready in the morning and I'm struggling to find a look that I think works, you would know that because that's a real thing that happens in my life.